नमस्कार यू कैन स्विम ऑल डे इन दी ऑफ नॉलेज एंड नॉट गेट बैट विद थॉट आई पंकज शर्मा फ्रॉम आई एच एम शिमला वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस लास्ट सेशन ऑन नॉन एल्कोहलिक बेवरेजेस वी विल बी कवरिंग टॉपिक्स कोको मल्टी बेवरेजेस जूसेस एंड सॉफ्ट ड्रिंक्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन लर्नर विल बी एबल टू डिफाइन कोको recall origin of coco explain its manufacturing process explain malty beverages list out various malty beverages as well as explain juicy and soft drinks let's begin with coco coco is a food product which is found in the form of powder liquid or butter and it is prepared from coco beans and these beans come from cacao tree also known as Theo Broma cacao. Moving ahead to the origin of uh, cocoa, these beans were discovered in South American rainforest, and cacao trees are the native of Central and South America. And at present, these are primarily grown in West Africa. Here in this picture, you can see a cacao tree. Moving ahead to the manufacturing of uh, cocoa, this starts with the harvesting and goes. till the formation of different cocoa products which could be in the powder form or in the butter form as discussed earlier in the harvesting this cacao fruit is plucked or cut from the tree and usually this is done manually these fruits are opened and their seeds are removed along with the pulp then we move ahead to the fermentation process where we remove the pulp and separate it from the beans after fermentation the cleaning of these beans are done by various method it could be through washing uh, as well in order to remove uh, its uh, dust or other particles roasting is done in order to reduce the moisture and develop the color and flavor of these beans which is followed by winnowing in which a machine crack these uh, shell of these beans and separate it from the heavier nibs further these nibs are grinded in order to release the cocoa butter and forming a chocolate liquor next conching is done with the help of conching machine to enhance the flavor and emulsify this chocolate liquor at a temperature between 55 to 88 degrees celsius and the last step in the manufacturing of coco is this uh, coco butter or liquor it is uh, pressed means molded and finally we get the different products like coco powder or coco butter moving ahead with the next non alcoholic beverages which are malted beverages these malted beverages are made from malted cereals and by malted cereals we means these are germinated cereals which are further dry by malting process and these malty beverages include drinks like bon vita milo ovaltine complan holix etc and these are widely promoted by uh, advertisement in the commercial we see in the uh, tvs and basically these malty beverages are sweetened powder mixes that are dissolved in milk in order to make a drink coming to juices which are obtained from fresh and dry or processed fruits it could be fresh juices or the preserved one which is like can bottled or tetra packs and uh, in hotels we prefer fresh juices rather than the preserved one we get uh, uh, juices as per the season it could be orange pineapple apple cranberry tomato grape to name few and some of the famous brands for preserved juices which are like canned or bottled one or tetra pack one are real tropicana b natural paper bot minute maid etc last we have soft drinks which are also called as aerated drinks and these are basically the carbonated drinks and this carbon dioxide makes it fizzy uh these are acidified sweetened 
colored, carbonated, and preserved in order to uh, remain for a longer time. And these are available in different flavors and colors. And we can see in the market example like Pepsi, Sprite, Fanta, Coke, Marinda, Linka, to name few. Let's summarize what all we learned in this session. We started with cocoa, its origin, and then we moved ahead with the manufacturing of cocoa. Further, we also discussed about malted beverages and its examples. Then we moved towards juices, which can be fresh as well as canned. And last, we discuss about the soft drinks, which are the carbonated drinks with a fizz, like Pepsi, Coke, Limca, etc. With this, I, Pankaj Sharma, signing off the series of sessions on non-alcoholic beverages. Thank you. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay healthy.